on fucking Mars. If the sky's your limit, then you'll never go far. All right, what's up, guys? It's Poison here, and I'm back. Hopefully, music isn't playing through the headphone. Okay, it doesn't look like it, but still. Um, I did notice, thanks to uh, Matt, that, yeah, there was music playing in the background. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, what does this do? I forgot how to defeat this guy. Destroy Transformers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We have to destroy his little Transformers to get him. So, this is a kind of a stupid angle to defeat it. So, honestly, today I'm just here to talk about what work was like for uh, Saturday up until, uh, I guess, Monday, yesterday. Because a few things have happened. Um, i talk about work, obviously, because, you know, easy topic. Um, new things have happened. Um, first thing, honestly, is definitely been pr being promoted up in my company. That's really awesome because, you know, I've been there for a year now, but... Boss is starting to trust me with more stuff, so I'm like, hey, dude, sweet. Because um, now at Levi Stadium, he uh, lets me drive a cart. And um, we had to report to people higher up than us who work for um, the alumni players at Levi Stadium. And they were telling us whoever is doing the carts today, they want to have as like permanent cart people, you know, so they don't have to teach new people where to go and how to do everything. So... Right now, I'm booked in to be driving a car every football game when there's, like, alumni players and stuff. So, that's awesome. Once again, you know, I get to stay in a cart pretty much all day. I get to, you know, drive these players around, and I just don't really have to do much. So, that's awesome all around. Um, I noticed, like, there's a lot of cops I'm starting to notice around um, just everywhere lately. And kind of scary because I had a, not really, like, a bad encounter um, Saturday night leaving work, but... There was, like, a scary moment because we had to, or I had to go across a bridge at a certain point, and I had to pay a toll. So there's a cop in front of me, and he's going to limit. I'm like, all right, whatever. I could follow the cop, you know. I'm not going to speed by because that's going to be horrible. But I'm like, whatever. The cop is doing the limit. I'll just keep up with him. And then I guess the cop decides that he wants to go to the far right lane. So I'm still doing the speed limit, but he kind of slows down. But I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, I have numb the fear. I'm still going 65 on the freeway because that's the speed limit here. So, obviously, I'm still going to speed limit. And, um, he suddenly decides to come up from... He decides to pull up right next to me as if I'm, like, speeding or anything. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm still not, you know, doing anything illegal, not doing anything bad. I'm still going good. Um, so he pulls up right next to me. And he won't let me, like, go anywhere else. And I notice that the freeway is like, hey, you know, these two lanes go to Benicia or Vallejo. The opposite direction in which I need to go to. So I'm like, oh, fuck. I need to get into the right lane pretty soon. Because I could already see the, um, the churn. Like, you know, you know, I could already see the churns coming up. I'm like, fuck, dude. I need to get into the right lane. So I decide not to slam on my brakes. But I decide to slow down. And I guess the cop sees this. And he decides to cut across from the left lane. All the way into um, the lane right in front of me. Without turn signal. I'm like, okay, dude. What the fuck? Like, you know. I get you're a cop and all, but that's pretty fucking reckless. What if someone was speeding and you're about to cut them off, you know? Almost hitting me too, but I'm like, whatever, dude. I'm not gonna fucking yell at a cop. I'm not gonna do shit, because then, you know, he's a fucking cop. He'll fucking find something to fucking ticket me for. So I'm like, alright, whatever. Um, and... Oh, shit. Is someone gonna pick him up, or do I have to pick him up? Is he picked up, or is he dead? So, you know, then, like, this cop pulls behind me and to the right of me. Like, he decides that, you know, he's basically going to check my car. And once again, I have stickers all around, and it's like, all right, whatever, you know, nothing bad. They're not obstructing vision. But this cop, like, for the next 20, 30 minutes is right in front of me, and I'm like, fuck, dude, this is like an empty highway. You know, if this cop wasn't here, I'd be speeding along here. Because, like, dude, seriously, it's empty highway for, like, 20, 30 minutes, but this cop's right in front of me. I'm like, fuck, dude, I can't do shit. And I remember, like, a Dodge pulls up next to me, and he's trying to, like, speed. Then he sees the cop, and he's like, oh, never mind. And you just see him slam on his brakes instantly. I'm like, yeah, fucking retard. Um, and then, let's see, that was Saturday. Then, you know, today's Monday, so we'll go to Sunday now. Um, nothing really major happened except for we're hunting down Amiibos. And like I said on a Friday's video, I finally have a Switch, so that's awesome. 
I'm probably going to go down. That's not awesome. But yeah, I finally have a switch, so we're looking for amiibos now. And uh, for Splatoon 2, we've only been able to find the neon pink girl, and we end up picking up the last one, so kind of a pain. Um, let's grab some ammo. But huge fuck up on my part Sunday um, night. Like huge, 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 huge fuck up. And even my sister was there, and she fucking even said that was a fuck up too. So me and her were driving. We're not really speeding, you know. Like I'm saying, there's a lot of cops recently, and I don't know why. Like probably this, you know, probably since this pro this uh, Charlottesville thing happened, I know it's a lot more cops. And we're basically going down a street, and we're going relatively fast. And then from the corner of my eye, I see a Volkswagen. Like I don't know, I don't know Volkswagen models. I guess it's a Golf? STI? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it's a Volkswagen, and I see stickers on it. I'm like, oh, this person's gonna fucking want to race. So I see him pulling up fast, and I'm like, nah, bro, I'm going ahead. So as the car gets closer, I look at the stickers, and I'm like, oh my god, they're all pink. You know, it's a girl. So she sees me going for it. She wants to start going for it, too. So, you know, we're going head and head down this um, street, and we both pull up to a, stop, to a stoplight, and it's like, it's just hilarious because she looks into the car and she just starts smiling. Like, we look at each other and I'm like, okay, is she smiling because she had a good time or is she smiling because of all the stickers? I felt because she was having a good time because, you know, we're both at a stoplight. We look at each other. We start laughing. Then all of a sudden, she um, she takes off on me. And I noticed a sticker that made me laugh, too. And the sticker was a basic sticker I see everywhere. It's like, got boost. And I'm like, oh, God, her car is turboed. Mine isn't. And my car took her down, like, the first time. But, you know... She has a turbo car. She fucking took me down the second time on our takeoff. So I'm like, all right, whatever. And, you know, the huge fuck up part is like, we were at a stoplight for a good minute or two. Like, we barely pulled up as the light turned um, red for us. So, you know, this whole time, I know she was looking over and she'd be smiling. I would look over too. Huge fuck up on my part is I didn't fucking, you know, roll down the window to talk to her. I'm like, well, fuck. You know, now, like, all last night, all today, I'm like, well, fuck my life, dude. I didn't do shit. All right, so yeah, um, you know, that whole experience happened. It was fucking cool. Once again, I'm just so sad because I didn't fucking take the time to try to talk to her or anything. But um, like, I'm not even sure if I said this because I have just I had to talk about some other things too. But um, yeah, she had an Instagram sticker on her car. I'm going to try to see if I can find her Instagram because I want to talk to her. She looked like really cool. She was beautiful. She was into cars. So I'm like, you know, be cool to talk to her. But then... You know, she ended up taking a right when we had to go straight. So I'm like, oh, well, shit. My chance to talk to her is gone now. But, um, you know, if I see her again, I will talk to her. I'll, like, come up and be like, hey, do you remember me? You know, as soon as I scrap my car, she'll probably be like, oh, yeah, I remember you. But, um, yeah, we had to go straight. We're at Target. Once again, we're looking for this amiibo. We didn't find it. We're leaving, and we went from, like, a cute, cool girl in the car to some random, stupid bitch in a car. Now... If you guys saw my video when I was coming back from work last Wednesday, technically came out last Thursday, but if you guys saw my video where I was driving, you guys know I get pretty angry. Like, not road rage, but, like, I don't like stupid people driving, especially while I'm on the road. But, um, this, uh, woman in, like, I don't remember what type of car it was. It was some type of, like, SUV. And not, like, a small SUV, like a Honda CRV SUV. It was, like, a fucking Tahoe-ish SUV. So, she's to the lane right next to me. And then, um, she decides she wants to get into my lane. No turn signal. And she gets into my lane. Thankfully, I break and I honk at her. And all I see is this bitch pick her head up. Like, oh shit, what just happened? And I'm like fucking pissed, you know? Because, bitch, you take out my car. I doubt your fucking ghetto ass will fucking pay for it, you know? Like, you're probably riding around with like the cheapest fucking insurance. And it would have been all your fault for hitting me, bitch. And, um, I noticed she pulls into, like, the ghetto store in, like, this ghetto area. It's called La Superior. It's a Mexican store here. My family goes there once in a while for, like, cheap meat, but I'm sorry. It's in the ghetto area. I see a bunch of ghetto people there. Once again, yes, we shop there, but I notice we're not as bad as the other people who shop there. So, I see this bitch turning there. I'm like, whatever. Fuck it. She's parking. I don't have to deal with her anymore. But, um, you know, I was still pretty mad because, like, she wasn't fucking paying attention. Like I'm saying, as soon as I honked the horn, she looked up from what she was doing. So I'm like, oh, you dumb bitch. You're not even fucking... You're not paying attention to anything about to hit my car. And you probably would have fucking sped off too. Like, straight up being a Mexican. 
But, you know, after that, Sunday's done. We basically come home. We just relax the whole day. Uh, little sister decides to play um, Splatoon, beat the story. Um, one thing I talk about, though, is she wanted to record... Uh, um, wait, where am I going? Oh, over there. She wanted to record a Let's Play for it, and she tried to. And it kind of fucked up. The recording didn't record. Uh, all around shitty, but it happens. It's happened to me before, too. Um, and let's move on to today, also. Uh, we'll make the video lo longer. So yeah, on to today with um, random cop moment. So yeah, today I ended up going out because I know one GameStop had um, the uh, amiibo we were looking for. So I decided to go pick it up. I'm like, alright, I have to go get gas anyway. So it's on the way. Might as well head out today. There's no point in laying it waste time, especially because it's the last one in stock. Thankfully, we got it. Um, but yeah, random moment is because I come up to the stoplight and... I'm not speeding because I see a motorcycle behind me. I'm like, okay, uh, it's a motorcycle. Kind of unpredictable. Like, not saying bikers are dicks, but sometimes they churn without using their signal. So I'm like, all right, whatever. We're just be careful. What if he decides to turn to the lane I'm going to? I don't want to fucking take him out because it's going to be all bad on me. It's going to be all bad on him because he's getting messed up. But as it gets closer, I'm like, this bike is weird. It has a weird front end to it. I've never seen a bike like this. Come to find out it's a cop. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Once again, I'm not speeding, I'm not doing anything bad, whatever. If he wants to pull up next to me, he can. So, I noticed this cop's looking at my car, and he's, like, eyeballing it hardcore. Oh, the door was blocked. Good thing we came this way. So, he's eyeballing my car hardcore. I'm like, okay, um, is he going to do something? So, he pulls up next to me, looks through my window, looks at me, and then knocks on the window and tells me to lower it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, you know, obviously this isn't bad, you know. He didn't have his lights on. So, he's like... Excuse me, son, have you ever been stopped? I'm like, mm, for what? He's like, well, all your stickers. I'm like, no, I've never been stopped for him. He's like, have you ever been questioned? I'm like, no, you're the first cop who's ever told me anything about my sticker. He's like, okay, are they a hazard? Do you still have visibility? I'm like, yeah, I still have visibility. I could see relatively well, you know? I positioned the stickers to where I could still see and they wouldn't affect me. He's like, oh, okay, well, you know, generally we see something like this and think that it's going to be a hazard, but if you see fine, you know, we're not. I'm not gonna tell you anything. No, I'm not gonna tell you. You not gonna give you a ticket. Not gonna tell you to remove them. But just be forewarned. You know, other cops may not be so friendly to this, and they may have you. They may do something. I'm like, all right. Thank you for warning me. But you know, yeah, they're not. A, you know, they're not a hazard. If you'd like to sit down, position yourself, and try to see. You know, I'm not gonna block any vision. He's like, all right. But other than that, you know, relatively easy. You know, it was actually a cool interaction, and. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool if the cop, like, started talking about anime, because that's what they're basically all based on. But, yeah. Pretty much just nothing's been going on. And we're going to keep playing until we get to a checkpoint, so... Oh, we'll keep playing up until we defeat this little segment here. Because, come on, Gears of War is a fun game, and I do enjoy playing it. Especially Gears 4. Now, the one thing I talk about is hopefully this video... The audio doesn't mess up because if so, that's gonna be it's not gonna be a problem, you know. I have two microphones recording, but if I could record it with just one microphone and have it instantly go, that'd be amazing. Oh, come on, don't be a coward, dude. No, no, no. Uh, I knew he shot that right there too. Where's he at? Ah, oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't stop me out. Pick me up. Alright, sweet. How the hell did he just jump up here like that? I call BS on that. And I just saw ammo somewhere right here. There's still some alive, isn't there? Oh, now they're dead. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty chill weekend. No, can't wait till next, or this Friday actually, technically when I get paid. Um, one thing I quickly talk about is, I know last E-Juice review, I said that when I got, or when I left for San Francisco, I'd buy another ball E-Juice so I could review it. That hasn't happened yet because I still have about like 30 to 40 milliliters of my E-Juice left from last month. And I'm noticing I'm going through like 5 milliliters of E-Juice a week, so... Even despite me vaping on it hard, vaping every day while I was working, you know, letting friends vape too, e-juice hasn't gone down that much, so 
I'm going to have to wait till this bottle is completely gone before I decide to go buy another one. I hate stacking e-juice, which was a problem I had when I uh, did sample box. Because I'd try a flavor, I wouldn't finish it, and I would hop onto a next one. So, I'm waiting completely till this juice is done. Then I'll be hopping onto the next one. So, yeah, guys. Until Thursday, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.